One of the presents I got for my birthday was this <laughs> very big, heavy book on Guru Bayur. You may remember that uh, I met a woman at another temple <clears throat> who took me to Guru Bayur. That was the first time I ever visited it. And um, I was looking for the book all the time. We went three times, Mira and I, but I didn't know what I was looking at <laughs> at all. Uh, it was an incredible experience. So this book was written by uh, Pepita Seth, and I used to uh, spend time with her when uh, I was in India years ago um, while she was writing the book. It's her photographs and her uh, writing of the book uh, with, of course, their blessing. She used to come frequently to my room and I would uh, serve fresh lime soda and she would uh, bewail the difficulty that it was working on this book. In fact, I was always persuading her that she really had two books here, one book about the temple and another book about the journey of her uh, trying to make a book out of it. Okay, so here I am with this book and I feel like I'm at Boro Budur. What am I going to do? How am I going to look at this book? I know when I went to Boro Budur in Java, that uh, very famous Buddhist temple, nine tiers, five big uh, tiers uh, that are square and uh, uh, then you would after the, they all they all depict the life of the Buddha in carvings. Then after those five floors, then there are three more floors that are uh, circular, and there's all they're full of carving. Then you get to the ninth, the top floor, um, which is a, 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 the stupa. There's a stairway that goes right up the, the temple. So it's possible uh, that you walk across the grass and you climb up the stairs to the top stupa. Or you, which I somehow or other have the brains to do, um, you walk completely around each floor and then go up one flight and go around that floor and keep repeating that. Till when you finally get to the top, you know you've seen everything that's beneath it, and it's it's been a journey. This book is full of photographs. The what I'm not going to do is riffle through the pages and look at the photographs. I've decided that I'm going to read it page by page. So uh, it's going to take a while, but when I turn a page, there's a new photograph I've never seen before, and I have read everything going up to that point. So that's what's going on here. 